Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. So this week we're taking a step back into the slightly surreal. Um, some of you may remember a few weeks ago I did a painting of some belted Galloway cows uh, walking through a cloudy sky, but it was a little bit surreal because they were kind of walking beyond the sky. I'll, I'll pop that image up on screen just for a second. So this week I'm kind of continuing that theme again, but with a rather different sky and some different animals so or not different animals but uh, a different representation of the belted galloway cows so as you can see i've been putting down some patches of purple kind of magenta some pinks and blues working wet in wet with my interactive acrylic paint on mixed media paper and now what i'm doing is just layering in some titanium white and feathering the edges of those bits of white through the wet colored paint and you can see by doing that i've been able to build up these banks of uh, banks of cloud within a stormy sky top left of the screen i just added a little burst of white with a touch of cadmium yellow deep and now i'm putting in some pale blue so this is uh, phthalo blue mixed with the titanium white and i'm just kind of scumbling that and working on the edges of the stormy cloud area So the idea of this painting is to create a kind of impressionist, almost abstract background, really. And then I'll do um, a more realistic interpretation of the cattle and they'll be in the foreground. So I've got a darker blue up the top, light blue down below and this kind of weird bank of colour. And so I let that dry completely. And now I'm coming in with my uh, Payne's Grey watercolour marker pen. And I'm just starting to outline the first of the cattle. Now in the previous painting I think I had seven cattle in total. This time I'm just going to do three and that's going to allow me to have them rather larger within the frame and you know do a little bit more uh, work in terms of colour and texture on them as well. So what I'm doing here is just kind of keeping the big shapes. That's my focus. You know I'm just kind of bolting together the big shapes to get the anatomy right and kind of place them in the frame in the appropriate manner and you know, I've kind of painted quite a lot of Belted Galloway cattle now over the years. The first time I did one ever, I think, was probably about nine years ago. And that was a painting called The White Stripe. Um, I'll pop that up on screen just for a second for you. And so that was inspired by a Belted Galloway up on Dartmoor. Just popping in the second of the... Oh, I'm going to have three of the Belted Galloways, three of the Belties in this painting. So the second one's in place now. Now notice I've got the two huddled together there. I plan on having three in total. And what I often like to do is place the third a little bit separate from the other two because it just seems to work nicely in the composition. And you can see I've done that here. And then I'm also placing that final animal a little bit further back, a little bit off into the distance. Notice I'm placing the cattle still within the sky, so it's almost as if they're standing on a, a field of pale blue. Or again, you know, perhaps they're in the sky. You know, that's for the viewer to in, um, interpret themselves. And hence the slightly surreal uh, comment at the start of the video. Now I've got these wonderful vibrant colours in the background. I've got the phthalo blue. I've got the permanent alizarin. I've got the cadmium yellow deep and all the purples and pinks and combinations I was able to create from those three colours. So I'm coming in with a more of a neutral approach now, a bit of carbon black, a bit of titanium white. And I'm using my flat brush to block in, but keeping in mind the direction of the surface I'm painting, keeping in mind the texture of the coat of the animal. But still keeping things nice and loose. And, you know, I can work up to the outlines I've put down or I can go beyond them if I wish. Similar treatment going on here for the, the middle animal. Now notice the front leg of that middle animal. Notice how some of the blue is coming through from behind from that first layer of paint. And some of the purple is coming through from the sky at the moment on parts of the body as well. So that's a really nice technique that you can use, you know, to help create subtle effects if you want to. I'm not sure whether I'll leave that exactly as it is, but I just thought I'd, it'd be, it would be worth pointing out. Now having coloured in the the darker part of the animal on the left. I'm now coming in with a pale grey to deal with the, the white stripe which goes around the midriff mid drift of these cattle and is what makes them so you know visually distinctive. So I'm doing the same for the middle animal but I'm kind of fraying the edge of the grey 
that uh, I put down and having done something similar for the right hand animal now I'm coming in with some highlight color so once again I'm keeping things fairly neutral at the moment so this is still just a mix of the white and the carbon black but it hasn't been that thoroughly mixed so there are little pure bits of titanium white in there but I need some deeper shadows in amongst the the darker parts of the hide so coming in with a much uh, much darker grey now and a slightly smaller flat brush as well I want a little bit more control for the size of painting I'm doing so again I'm blocking stuff in keeping in mind the direction of the brush strokes and if I get a little frayed edge on the edge of the leg there for these belted galloways that's absolutely fine and completely appropriate because they are kind of fluffy they are they have kind of shaggy coats you know the hair tends to blow about in the wind if they're up on dark or up, or up on high ground now I thought I'd change things a little bit for the middle animal and you can see I've used a little bit more of a purple so mixing up the alizarin permanent alizarin and the thalo blue and in fact there is a type of belted galloway which is kind of a rust red in color with a white stripe but I'm not interested in mimicking that exactly I just I just want um, kind of a color scheme which is harmonious with the background so I just thought I'd give that a go and I quite like the way it's working so it's obviously a darker hue than what's in the sky but it's within the same part of the spectrum but I need to add some deeper shadows as I'm doing right now to the nose and the ears and parts of the head as well so we still need to do some modeling within these dark colors so when you're painting something which is black or a very dark color you don't need to change things too much the highlights will be quite subdued but you can always go darker you know but keep some I would usually recommend keep some color in your dark as I say I'm playing with some grays here today some pure grays but generally speaking I like to have colors in my darks so similar treatment for the the little guy on the on the on the left there just adding in some gray on the underside of the belly and darkening that rear leg which is furthest away from us so that would be deep in shadow so you can see now that by now that I've begun to model the cattle they're starting to stand out from the sky and they're becoming distinct from the sky and the sky has almost sort of fallen back into this abstract pattern of color but now again with my small flat brush just adding some little touches of highlights so a lighter gray a middle gray this time just pick out the bits where the light would be catching so I'm doing much of this work from my imagination I have used reference photos to get the anatomy right uh, but the rest of it really is just sort of from experience from painting a lot of these cattle over the years and because I'm going for something slightly surreal I'm keeping very much in mind what I think will work for the overall painting so I want it to be realistic but you know I'm not overly concerned if the lighting on the middle cow is somewhat different to the one on the right for example so some darker grey on the underbelly there and then a little bit of modelling on the head of the right hand cow. Now a good way to do nostrils on cattle is rather than paint the nose and then paint dark areas for the nostril which I, I do from time to time but another approach is to paint the whole area dark and then paint in a lighter colour around where the nostrils are and that's what I've done on the right hand cow there and also for the eyes I've used a similar technique we will come back to the eyes in a bit now the previous surreal painting of belted galloways I didn't put any cast shadows on the ground but this time I thought I would add just a little hint of, of some and what I'm doing here is coming in with my pale blue and just picking out with my small round brush where the light is catching the lower eyelid and different parts of the eye little highlight going into the eye there as well so I'm not overly concerned with going into a great level of detail for this painting but I just want those key highlights a couple of little details here and there to capture an expression on each of the uh, each of the faces of the belties as you can see there quite a minimal treatment but it's it's transformed them to, into something which is looking at you hopefully that's my hope but you can see in that close-up the texture I've got in the paint so there's the finished painting, a little bit of a surreal one, lots of purples, lots of blues, three belted Galloway cattle. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of 
The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.